Right. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Hello. Hi, um, everyone. And welcome to the Bonnie and Teddy Video Diaries. And this is our second Q&A you're watching. Can you believe that it's been a year since the first Q&A? Already? <gasps> oh my God. So if you are new to the channel, I'm Paul. And I'm Maria. And we are Bunny and Teddy, obviously. Yeah, Bunny and Teddy. And the first Q&A can be seen on our channel if you wanted to switch to that first before watching this because it has different questions all about us more so than this one. This yeah. is more of a follow-up to that, so if you want to watch that one first, then feel free to do so. But please subscribe and look at all the other videos we've done over the last, well, near enough now, two years, two years. would you believe? Yeah. So, second Q&A, shall we crack on? I, it's only Ted who has seen the questions. I haven't, so, surprise. Yes, and they're all on here. <laughs> and we start with one from our, one of our top fans, and that's Rebecca, and she wants to know what our goals are for the channel. Right, that's a good one. Do you want to start? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had to reevaluate where we want to take the channel because this year has been a bit of a damp squib in terms of one or two angles that yes. we wanted to do, which was namely travel being probably the biggest one. Totally. Everybody's travel plans have been disrupted over the last two years, so that's been a big thing. But the, ha the travel industry has picked up this year, so it means that loads of you, you've traveled. But unfortunately, we haven't, so we had to think in a different way in terms of our channel. It is still traveling, but there is also our lives, our daily content, how do we live? How do we go? Uh, how do we deal with ups and downs of life? You know, you can plan all that you want and then suddenly you find yourself in a position where all that is... I wouldn't say it's not a priority, but it will have other things have become a priority. Mm. Uh, whereas traveling has had to be put at the back. No. Do you agree with me? Yes? Yes. But that doesn't mean we won't travel again. Well, hopefully. Things are picking up a little bit, but it's only at the end of the year. So we've had a whole uh, yes. year where it has been really, well, up and down, up and down. But we are getting there and we have been probably producing a little bit less content this year. But we're hoping to catch up on other bits. You said earlier that we, we've we got some... We've got ideas. ideas. I would like to call it our B&T strategy 23-24 because <laughs> this year it will quite literally be a lot more in the way of cooking. There will be quite a few cooking bits probably. Well you tell me guys in comment on our page because <laughs> Ted's everywhere at the minute, it's very also on uh, social media, very seasonal, everybody's doing their fall, fall, yeah, autumn, uh, that uh, autumn is. videos and uh, we haven't done much mm. because... Because that's a, that's an angle we want to shoot at, yes. uh, something to do with the autumn or, and the winter. Yes, we want So you to might do. see a lot more there might uh, be recipes little things to do with that. Coming up. Um, there's one or two things, I like to rekindle my musical back catalogue again. I haven't done that for a bit. There might be a bit more time for that. I would really like to give a go at one of the videos, a day in our life. Uh, when we wake up. Yeah, our morning uh, routine. Morning routine and things like that. Stuff like that. that. What we're wearing this autumn. <laughs> Maybe, yes. <laughs> so things will be coming your your yeah. way, but please suggest also. You, yes, we don't hear from you. You, we don't uh, hear to, from you. Please yeah. suggest things that you would like us to, to, see, to do. well to do for you guys. Mm. So stay tuned, stick with us, guys. Thank you for doing that in the interim. Thank you for sticking with us. Yeah, and thank and you for your love and support. Yeah, if you want to be a new subscriber, it's free to do so. Just like, share, and subscribe all our videos and stay tuned for new stuff coming up. Next question. Right, films next. 
<laughs> Joanne, she wants to know what are our favourite go-to films? I'm not sure whether she means the genre of film. Let's start with that. Yeah, Jean, for me it's it has to be, well, I guess action and... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Action, fire, bing, bong, bang. <laughs> <laughs> Anything with explosions in it, she's happy. Or car chases, she's a big Fast and Furious fan. Yes, totally. Anything policy, uh, thriller, I investigation, SWAT. That's yeah, a TV. That's though. a TV series. Uh, the one before that was NC, no, not NCI, CSI. CSI. Yeah. But that's TV. Yeah, that's TV. The uh, thing about films. Films. Uh, I, I think I, I did mention early. that. I did mention my favourite film. I think the same question was asked in the first Q and A. Was it? I'm not too sure. But if it were, I did say my fa ultimate favourite film is. Oh, that's one yeah, of. And the recent one that we. I love that. Oh, oh we the, watched Moana. Moana. Oh, uh, I recently. loved it. So Disney. Disney. That's another. Yes. Major and we've made a or um, Pixar. Yeah, we've made a commitment. Animated, really. We've made a commitment to each other that we want to start watching because we we well behind. I think on Disney films, really well behind. Yeah, we wanted a few, to. Really. Yeah, a few we yeah. haven't watched and we would like to well start watching them yeah we haven't seen the last bond film yes would you believe we haven't even seen that that's a, always a cinema thing yeah always but we just haven't got around to doing it i'm not sure why we'd miss that completely i, I don't know I so remember. no spoilers because <laughs> we don't know what happens in it um but what's your go-to film you you'd put on an action pack Sort of what thing. to see again? Do you well, mean? I don't know really. I suppose. I mean, uh, if you had anything, to put on a film now, anything that what would you has put on? got probably up, <laughs> probably you know, up we, again. I don't know. We both cried at that, so I'm yeah. not sure whether I can get past the first sequence really. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm like you, a bit action, a bit of an escapism. That's where you like your animated films. We like all animated stuff, so it's a bit of escape of it. You know what I mean? It's completely not anything to do with normal life yeah. stuff, really. So we'd go on that sort of thing, really, wouldn't we? Yeah. Just to escape and we'll leave it at that. Yeah. She likes so her action pack, and we both like Disney, Pixar. Yes. There are go to genres really yeah so that, totally. that's the answer really we're into all sorts really aren't we as well yeah. so but that's our main stuff anyway so matt uh matt wants to know what our what my favorite movie of all time is and why i suppose we can both answer that my favorite movie of all time again i like i've always liked the back to the future trilogy i mean i've, I've got some weird sort of tastes as well i mean one of my favorites is thx 1138 you've probably never heard of that one uh, Robert Duvall. That's a that's a real fantasy sort of sci-fi that really gets you thinking. I've always liked the original Star Wars, the Episode Four thing, because that when that first came out, everybody was absolutely wowed by it. I always remember queuing up at the cinema. It was absolutely packed for it. I think I probably watched it. Oh, and there, I'll tell you what I did do as well. I watched all three of those originals in a row. They did a nine hour special at our old cinema. I, I can always remember that. So I suppose, yeah, I'd go probably the original Star Wars film because of the memories it's invoking, but I'm very much a sci-fi sort of person, generally speaking anyway. And that's where the Back to the Future thing comes in because it's got that fantasy thing about it. Oh, and uh, another one of my favorites of all time is probably the original Planet of the, Planet of the Apes with Charlton Heston. I'd watch that over and over because it's a fascinating film and it's from the early 70s or is it, was it late 60s when that was made and it was really obvious, you know, it's well out, outside the box sort of film. You? What, what do you think? <laughs> favourite time of all? I don't favorite have movie. One. I You don't, don't think of any old film that you can remember and it I really evokes know. any memories and... Apart from Up. No, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mrs. Doubtfire, is that right? Really? 
and then I did like oh the other one the I think it's a Chris, Christmas one the little boy oh I'm alone no no oh. he he stays at home and his parents go on a holiday and thieves uh, no, yeah, I'm alone. Is it? Yeah, oh. I'm alone too. That yeah, is with yeah. Joe oh, uh, Cashy. Yeah, it, it's it? it's brilliant. Uh, and then like, I mean, it's not. Even I saw that at the cinema. Yeah, I'm alone too. And then you like pe you like people getting hurt, don't you? <laughs> in films, <laughs> she loves anybody being killed, don't you? Well, in, in, <laughs> you make me sound horrible. That's not very nice, Ted. <laughs> she loves it though, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, Anything what, blowing uh, up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's her favourite film of all time. Yeah, that's why I like all the James Bond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is actually. Uh, okay, now let's move on from uh, films. Joanne again asks how you got into cooking. How did you get into cooking? Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's going back a bit. Well, on my, on my mum's side, everybody, are the, all my aunties and all that are decent cooks. One had a restaurant in France, my mum was a decent cook. I don't know, I suppose it's more in the culture of our country, our island. The food is a way of gathering the family. Food attracts or, yeah, gathers everybody together so I believe I got really into food with mom when basically on holidays we didn't go on holiday like you do here you know Spain Portugal wherever it was basically a little trip to the beach or sometimes we would hire a little hut they call it camp ma and we'd go for a few days but apart from that it was mom sometimes taking some days off and we would do girly things at home and this is where the, the she would ask me to come what do you want to eat let's see let's make a pizza together we would look at the recipe and we would make it together and I got in probably my, my love of cooking came from probably mom asking me to join we are cooking this do you want to come and have a look what's that and I, I think it's the flavors as well there is plenty of flavors back home in the food in the fruit in I think it's being around food and mom presenting things nice and the food was delicious I guess this is where my love of food but mainly also there was one episode where mom had to go abroad for about three weeks probably a bit longer and she left me responsible of budgeting and doing menus for the week and bearing in mind I knew a little bit how to cook but this is where I think it triggered a, a proper passion I burned a few things but along the way I really enjoyed it I really really enjoyed it when she came back I said I'm sorry but you'll have to re-explain or tell me again how you do this and that was really the little push that I needed and from there on it was well, the rest food. is history yes <laughs> food 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 cooking cooking interesting in everything tasting and so that's my my story great stuff so that's our bunny going to cooking Joanne follows that on with is cooking something that you've always enjoyed and I suppose you've more or less answered the question yes the question is you've yes. never thought to yourself well, I'm, I'm not doing that today mum I'm going down the shops with my friends or you've always been no, there I'm, in the kitchen. I've been surrounded with I see foodie people and going at other friends as well and also being very engaged on the parish and with social people food as well is quite a bit of a you come and you share oh you've done that this is delicious what is i mean if you've got that interest you will ask question or you know try new things mm. i hope i've answered your question <laughs> properly if tell just Put me a word and no. you know a line and say what what do you want to know exactly i hope that answers uh, your question so rebecca <laughs> she's come out with something really off the cuff here okay she's got a cooking challenge for bunny has she yeah oh, right so you've got to try and make something okay out of the following ingredients Okay, um, well, and, and do a video about it. Or possibly, possibly if you can think is that, of something. Is that, you, is that what you want? So maybe, 
Okay. Let's have a look. So it's a bit wacky. Okay, wacky. She's given you lamb. Okay. Sage. Okay. Bananas. Okay. Parsley, carrots, and fish. Oh, do you <laughs> we? Right, that's a little bit. It's very wacky. I can propose a starter and a main course, but fish and lamb. Mm. For me. Never it might heard. Be two separate dishes. Two separate dishes. I don't dishes. know where the banana's gonna go into it though. <laughs> bananas can be part of. Yeah, we can work with bananas. Yeah, maybe plantains. Yeah, than plantains rather, rather than, than bananas. bananas. If, if you're okay with that, a starter with fish and a main course with lamb. What do you. Is that okay? Can we. Yeah. Can we do that? So watch out for that in future videos. Yeah, we'll let you know when we're gonna do it and then So fish we'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll call it the cooking challenge of the day or something and Yes. This is what Bunny's come up with with Rebecca's suggestions. If you've got any other suggestions for Bunny to do a video on, yeah? Yes, please. Put it in the comments below and we'll see what Bunny come, comes up with. Because we, we've been watching somebody else who does that, where people from around the world are giving the chef, in this case, the recipe to try. And she's tried it based on their instructions. Yes. So that could be interesting. Totally, yeah. Yeah, but for a challenge, is Bunny. Mm -hmm. Right, now then, Rebecca's giving me some pictures as well of food. So, food, okay. yeah, this is what Bunny's got to try and recreate or even tell us what the dish is. Here's picture number one. Okay, well it's an aspic, it's a fish, but it's like, it's like an, it's an entree, okay, and it's, well yeah, it's an entree, it's a fish entree, isn't it? <laughs> Is that not a fish? It's, so, well, yes, but it's not shocking you then. It's no. <laughs> Why should it shock me? Oh, you're, you're happy with that one then? Well, it's a fish. You know the aspect that I did. Like yeah. this is another presented another, like that. Presented like that. Well, when that's, people, people, I thought it should be like you know really you know what the hell was that? No, sort no, of... no, it's an aspic and you know. Oh, well, she did an aspic. Um, when did you do it? Last weekend. Last weekend. Yeah. Yeah, last weekend. She did a tuna aspic. Google it. A S P I C. No. A S P I C S aspic. A S P I C. But this is this is to be eaten cold. Or it's like it, a bat. Some people would say fish pate. Or it looks like a pate. Picture number two. Oh dear. <laughs> that's that's I won't say funny or this is a little bit weird. I wouldn't really it doesn't appeal to me. It's basically hula hoops in a tin but they've put exactly they've done an aspic with it and they have put sausages cut into halves and then stick it in there. Sorry but I wouldn't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, not really. I'm not sure whether it's hot or cold. It's spaghetti it, hoops, isn't it? It's spaghetti yeah. hoops, and then done in it, <laughs> put gelatin, and done like a nasty and then stick. Yeah. I don't know how. No, not for me. Sorry. <laughs> She's not going to do that one then. No. But she has already done the aspect. Picture number three. <laughs> I'm not too sure either about that. We do, I know of stuffed cabbage, but not raw cabbage like this. It wouldn't be a lettuce then. I think it's, oh, it is a cabbage, it's, isn't it? I think it's a cabbage. Oh, hang on. Oh no, it's an iceberg. Sorry, I think it's a is lettuce. That? I think it's a lettuce and a big iceberg. Again, <laughs> no, I'm not too sure. No. no. She's not impressed with this at all. No. It's not really the reaction I was hoping for what, either. What were, you, what were you expecting? Well, usually you say something like, What the bloody hell is that? <laughs> Right, last I'm one. I'm sorry, then. guys, if I'm, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know what you were expecting from me. Aspic! Is uh, it? Um, it must be out of an aspic. Yes! Oh. It's, but not only that, but is it the aspic? Championships. No, no. <laughs> theme? Goodness me. That's another aspic. Yeah, I would eat that. Yes. Yeah, it's full of veg, it's got an it's egg in it, it's that got that asparagus on the side, it's... With homemade mayonnaise! Ding! Yum! Yeah. So is that your favourite out of the four? Oh yes, that one. That yeah. one? Yes. 
Yeah, there you go then. She might even do that one for you then. Where is the furthest you have travelled from home? Well, for me, it's Mauritius. I would say Australia. And that was from, family, wasn't it? Yeah, from home, yeah. She's from home, from Mauritius, Australia. Australia. Well, it, it, well, even if it was from here, it certainly would be the longest mm -hmm. as well, wouldn't Australia. it? Australia. Yeah. So it's Australia for Bunny, it's because okay. of family, and it's Mauritius because it was the first time I flew anywhere, and it was the furthest. Yeah, I can't. No, it's got to be there, so that's me. Back to Matt, completely different subject now from Matt. Did we both watch the Lionesses during the Euros in the summer? And what did we think of them? I love, I loved the match. It was beautiful. But you wouldn't watch the end, would you? No, I, but, but it's not just that. It's just in any matches because we let's say if Liverpool is playing I want Liverpool to win but at the end when it's a bit I can't watch certain films I'm like that oh I can't oh, watch yeah, that yeah, yeah. I got it's got a bit of a tense yes I can't ending. I go so for, it can be a game it can be you know so I, I go I it's as if I don't want to it's weird I go away I just say I can't watch <laughs> that this is making me nervous and eat yeah yeah so I'm, I'm nervous while I'm watching them yeah but the typical England obviously we don't we don't play in the final and win 4 nil. yeah like we were doing the tournament uh, at times but it but was a obviously it you was don't do it, you don't match. do that against Germany anyway, do you? Be beautiful match, loved it. Yes. Then very... w when I go, you know, the little bit where it's very tense, I go mm. and then I come back. I, I hear Ted saying, yeah. "Oh, where?" Yeah. Oh, I'm a bit more okay now. Come back. He rewinded it. <laughs> And show it the goal me, in yeah, yeah. properly and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, dead proud of the girls. Yes. Having said that, it's not made me want to watch their Super League. <sighs> I don't watch club football as much anyway. I'm not really a club football sort of person. I don't such. watch all the matches with tapes. I watch Match of the Day in yeah. the England Football League goals and that's about it mm. we don't have sky sports bt sport no. and all that lot so but to watch major tournaments on the bbc or itv is great i've been able to do that at least they've not been taken away from me. To watch that tournament and have it in England and have all the crowds Crowd. there as well. Yeah. It was it really special. something special, wasn't yeah. it? To Extraordinary. And can't wait for the World Cup next time round, which I think is next year, is it? Uh, I believe. I think so. In, I think it's New Zealand, Australia. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think so. I think so. it is, isn't it? So looking forward to that. We've got to be one of the favourites there, I should think, because we we really played at, you know, completely out of the box there, wasn't it? Really top draw. Yeah. So, yeah, dead proud of the girls. Brilliant all round. Rebecca and Graham ask the same question here about our favourite music. Well, <laughs> I will have to split in categories. I love 80, uh, 70s, 80s music and a bit of now, but I also love my Christian uh, songs and, and all that. Now you've got quite a mix. And maybe. then I like our my Mauritian Sega and all that sort of stuff. I also adore South uh, American and Latin music and recently I've really gone or liked the YouTube, not YouTube, the yeah, Epidemic Sound Ooh, yeah. Uh, music, vlogging, vlogging music. I'm well into that <laughs> as well. So this, I've got an array of Channels. There's a lot of dance in there, isn't there? It has to be something that you, you dance. She, she yeah. also likes Indian oh, yes, dance, yes. dancey yeah. stuff. <laughs> ding, yeah. ding, 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 See? Yeah. Certainly. And you, <laughs> he well, goes like this when I'm... I'm... Enough! Goes like, <laughs> Enough! <laughs> yeah, and she's got her racket on. Yeah. Racket! Um... <laughs> yeah, racket. Racket! I'm 80s and 90s. I don't know any bands now 
really. There's not many bands of now. I can't. Girls, you, you do like, well, you like your Beyonce. I like, fe I like female solo artists, yeah. Yeah. I think it's the different voice ranges and probably types of music they come out with. Boys is, well, the script. We both like well, we the script. Well, we both like the script of, as far as a band is concerned. If, if you watch our, well, my, should I say, musical back catalogue videos, You'll get a taste of the type of albums that we possess in terms of all the albums of a particular artist. So tune into those videos because the next one is possibly the world's best band ever as far as I'm concerned with the letter D. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what E and F are going to be and they are Elbow and Feeder. All the albums reviewed and looked at in a bit of detail as far as I'm concerned so of course I can't play the music because you two will probably shut me down because I've got no permission to play them but that's a taste of the music I'm sort of into but I can't say that I know of any new band that's around at the well, moment. Well, I love Ed Sheeran, you know. If keen. you've got any suggestions of bands that either of us might like, then feel free to put in the comments. We'll give them a go, yeah? Now, this is an interesting one. <laughs> Rebecca again asks, were either of us in a band or play an instrument? I don't. No, no band, no instrument, no. Now, it's funny you should say that, Rebecca, because me and my brother sort of had a little thing going on back in the 1990s and I just happened to have a couple of ephemera shall we say to show you we developed th this here not sure whether you could probably see that there I'll put a, a picture of it on the screen for you but this was our demo tape that we produced and that, this I'm contains, Rose, yeah, me and my brother did a thing called Amber Rose, hence my surname is Ambrose, but uh, there you go, that's the demo tape of four tracks that we sent off to a pilot radio station, and I just happened to have the letter that we got off the radio station, again, I'll show you a picture of it, and um, this was it was quite funny actually because they're actually asking for uh, band members a biography of the band first gigs future sets interests and ambitions for the band it was only me and my brother having a bit of a bit of a go really we we produced uh, an album well say an album 10 tracks that were to be an album again i'm not sure whether i can play any of this I'm just going to stop talking now and hopefully you'll be able to hear the chorus of the song that this radio station actually played on the night that they did it on and it was in this was 1999 and the show was New Blood on the Wall it was a pilot station out of Bedrock Studios in Leicester and here's the little clip from that song that they played And there, there it is. Well, let's hope it is there. And we weren't just, I weren't just pointing up into the sky and listening to nothing uh, as we were just then. <laughs> but I will put a, that, the chorus, as I say, of that song on there uh, for you to listen to. And that was us back in 99. How about that? Didn't do anything with it, obviously. Sold the equipment. Oh, I, I actually programmed the keyboard. Uh, it was a Roland keyboard. My brother was the musician. He could play a bit of drums. A lot of guitar, we had a four track thing in his lounge connected to his hi-fi to do a mixing arrangement that's all we played with in fact we we, we we sounded better than any of the bands proper bands that were on the show we were certainly in the top 10 easily but we never did out with it but uh, there you go thank you very much <laughs> next question our favorite season rebecca asks by the way rebecca is now um one of our international question makers yeah. Uh, she she's from Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> 
We've got another one coming up, another international coming up. Two. Favourite season, my favourite season is spring. Me too. And then followed by summer and then oh. followed by autumn. All right. I'd have gone spring, autumn, summer, winter. Spring, summer, autumn, no. <laughs> and then winter. <laughs> it's the colours. Yes. Mainly, it's the colours. It's the flowers coming out. All different flowers. Yes. You know, it's a new year in a I, way. I love the coziness of autumn. It's yes. so it's scandalous. Again, it's the colours. The leaves turning. Yeah. Crisps. And you know that it's crisp, crisps, <laughs> crisps. crisps. <laughs> Make crisps out of the leaves. <laughs> It's crisp, mm. crisp. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, it's cosy, it's drinking more hot drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go then, we both like spring. Next one is from Thomas, who now lives in Sweden. Really? Yeah, he's got uh -oh. a job over there, yeah? Uh -oh. So a uh, bit of an international Congratulations! Thing. One for Bunny yeah. from Thomas, he's saying, what was your method for learning English? <laughs> New method. It's part of the cu curriculum back home. We do learn English from when we are little ones, from daycare centres, you know, when oh, we right. go for the day, and then uh, kindergarten, sorry, mm. kindergarten and nursery school, time. nursery and, mm. and all that. It's both French and English, so we back. We we are bilingual. There you go then. Yeah. His next question is, do you think in Creole and translate in your head? Because of the lack of practicing English every day, uh, the first first few years, first years, I have been thinking a lot in French and translating was. Uh, yeah. But now, no, not really. The odd, sometimes, odd, the odd big words, I think it's easier to think in French, but not really. I think what has helped me enormously is I married Ted's, but he is proper British and all the family around. I mean, I'm surrounded by English people. There is hardly a lot of French community. I do have a little uh, French friend but it, it helps me to practice my French but anyway I do speak French every day with my mom, with my family back home. I would say being within an English community, having married Ted's and living around my all my in-laws are proper English there is no French or it helps a lot it makes you push yourself and practice and this is how you become fluent I guess because you you well you can see my the way I spoke when I came mm -hmm. I first came and yeah. now it's completely yeah. different yeah, and when I go to start with, you? I was very broken but now when I go home the, the family tease, they tease me oh yes you <laughs> you're very well it's not that yeah but that's not your language that's the way you are you yeah. you took on the English yeah. way of living as still, well. I guess you can still say that I have got my French accent. Mm. I don't speak. Yeah, you definitely got an accent. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. I can't change that. This is you know I don't want to become posh or mm. this is who I am and I'm not <laughs> intending to change you know because there are people they go through what what is that cause a lecution lesson I don't Somewhere. want to go and do that because then it's not going to be me I come home from work sometimes sneak in the flat and I can hear her talking to herself in the kitchen doing stuff in English <laughs> she's not thinking in French, she's actually thinking in English and coming out with English. That's how far you've come. Yeah. <laughs> but when she gets tired, yes. she'll revert back to French because it's the uh, tired way of thinking, isn't it, French? Totally. Yeah, totally. She slips, you know, she can't think of any words, basically, other <laughs> than the French. Then. Thomas is asking me what language would I like to be automatically fluent in? I'd, I'd say Creole. I wouldn't say French. Creole's got a... Uh, it's, it's, it's a totally different ball game. It's very slang, English and French, and also their own little twists on words as well. It's... It's funny. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, vibrant. It's something... Yeah. It's a really off-the-cuff sort of... 
thing, you know what I mean? You laugh as well with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's a really pleasant sort it's of... It's a mixture of French, English and everything and African, I guess. There's probably a bit of Indian in there. Probably. Because of the, yeah, the, yeah, probably. the history and all that. So it's a real mix and it's, <laughs> it's just, it'd be just brilliant. Even the Bible was... Uh, there's a version yeah, of the Bible in there. Yeah, the Bible it. has been translated. Oh, it's, it's I mean, really that, that's a laugh. <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah, it, yeah it's very well written. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be quite good though, wouldn't it? So yeah, Creole for me. Mauritian Creole, that is, yeah. We go to Graham again now. In fact, Graham has the last four questions. Woohoo! So, TV series. Favourite TV series? Ooh, yeah. Swat. Well. Sort of. What, of all time? No. Well, no, well, I suppose now. Yeah. Now? For me... I did like the one that we started watching. Smallville. Smallville. We haven't seen any of them. In ages, but I did like it. Yeah, we must start that up again. And uh, the we other the one is... Uh, the, his daughter is Liz. He's been in prison and Liz is married to... He is, um, basically, he went to prison, but he knew all the, all the bodies, so by the FBI he was released to give the oh, blacklist. blacklist that's <laughs> it blacklist I did like that yeah we, we lost that because we, we, had, we don't have the channel anymore we've got to get the box sets of them haven't we there's a few like that Westworld you, you, is you. one of my favourites but again I haven't seen the third season because I don't have the channel anymore would you say which other one so that's we? another DVD box set <laughs> if you're going on normal TV I like oh. Dragon's Den I like Who Do You Think You Are because of that's my job Effectively. I like all the nature thing and everything with trains. We both like that. Well, again, that's Mike, YouTube. Again. Yeah, Michael Portillo on TV. Yeah, Mark and then, with him. And yeah. then the one that we both like this time now, they've done the second season. It's oh, the yeah. uh, London Underground. Brilliant. Yeah, Secrets of the London, London Underground. London Underground. That's Absolutely another, yeah. fascinating. That's a really good series. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's great. Yeah. And all Michael Portillo. Um, yeah, his great railways yeah, and everything all that. Everything about him. And then the other one with the art. One was the chef. Uh, oh, undiscovered um, Italy. No, no, no. Unpacked. Unpacked Packed Italy. Italy. Yeah. The chef and the art Very critic. Good. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the names now. And then, oh, of course, <laughs> Jamie Oliver, Mary mm, Berry, anything, yeah, and Anything and cooking. cooking, of course, with her. So, following on from that, Graham wants to know what our favourite comedian is. Ah. <laughs> Go on, then. Michael Ma uh, <laughs> <not> Michael. <laughs> No, Peter K. Yes. Way. Peter K. K. Yeah. For me. Yeah. And then you I do. do like French one that Teddy doesn't know. Eh? I like there's one or two French one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But what though? Who are they then? Oh, I, I know their faces. There's but that bloke in films from the sixties, isn't there? Ah. Oh, um, what was it? No, he is. He is. Um, I know Rita Finesse. Yeah. Yeah. But he's, he's not a comedian, but he plays, he's an yeah, actor, he's a he plays, yeah. Actor. That, that were, in fact, going back to the films, we used uh, to, mm, to watch that uh, a lot with my mum, yes. That yeah, was the, the yeah. thing, read a finesse. They're the, the go-to yes, film. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, the go-to film as well, the, that sort of comedy. Yeah, yeah, oh God, yeah, yeah that was... Because yeah. <laughs> even I understood, you can see, it's a bit of a slapstick sort of thing. Yeah. It's very visual, isn't it? So you can follow it, yeah. even though you, you don't really understand the words. Yeah, yeah, we say Peter you know, K. You like your Michael McIntyre, Michael as you McIntyre, were, were yeah, say. Yeah. But then Peter K is probably on top of that. I, I went to a spectacle, a spectacle is the, not theatre, a, a show in France with Auntie and uh, some of our friends. He was basically imitating all the French. He was imitating Garou. He was imitating Céline Dion <laughs> and all these. It was brilliant. Similar to Peter Kay and Michael McIntyre, but the French version. And then there is another new one that I would love to go and see. He's, uh, he's Moroc French Moroccan. He is brilliant. I want to, to try and find it uh, on the, and tell, tell the people, but... Uh, uh, it's not worth it. 
Who's <laughs> not worth it, cheeky? But because you won't understand it, I laugh yeah. at it. And then, of course, I do like the Mauritian. Uh, oh, there's yeah. The, the I mean, like, Mauritian. But, but, Particularly there's got, I think, Comico and mm. there's a few, there's a few. Because anybody who speaks Creole yes. is funny anyway. <laughs> when they speak it in a certain way that's a comic -y thing, yeah. it's supposed to be funny. Yeah. It does sound funny, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can go back years with mine. Uh, again, going back on imitators, impersonators, that sort of thing, but it's probably totally illegal now uh, when you think of the people they used to imitate. Uh, so, you know, you, I can't like it anymore. No, uh, I like know. the show that you you look the... Uh, Morecambe and Wise, uh, that do, sort of thing. They do the uh, of the show during the week, what's happening, they do a comic on it. Have I got news for you? Yes, I do, sort of I do like that. <laughs> Satire, uh, Monty Python, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. isn't it? Last two questions, although we might put in another one that was answered in another video. Sticking with Graham, he's asking what our favourite sports are. For me, swimming. Oh yeah, you like your swimming, don't I you? I do like You like table tennis. Commonwealth and oh, Olympic sports, yeah. Oh, yeah. So when, I, I mean, I record it all because obviously if I'm at work I can't see anything but I will record it all and watch it all so it may take a good year to watch, <laughs> <laughs> watch it all yeah <laughs> but I always get this one here to come in and yeah. watch the swimming because she likes the swimming finals yeah but my because I used to be a swimmer myself yeah she's a champion swimmer of her youth don't yeah. you know you have to get your medals out yeah <laughs> For me, it's football. I don't like any other sport really. But as I say, I'll probably watch the we world. Can't play bad. We can't play bad. We can play ten. Um table oh, tennis to, badminton yeah. and all that we can play i like playing all that but i don't get the no the i used chance. to play for my work table tennis in the third division <laughs> but i don't play that anymore beach beach volley <sighs> uh, sort of beach volley back home and then we like pétanque the french mm. ball oh no, mm. proper sports we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> af athletics. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch any cool. anything world European sports that like athletics. I'll probably watch the Rugby World Cup, even though I don't like Rugby Union, I'd still watch the World Cup. There's the Rugby League World Cup coming up soon. Whether I'll bother with that, I think I might just give it a go. But any sport, Olympic... What about the... Oh, what, Formula One? Formula One. I used it. to watch Formula One, but... I mean, you would think that because I'm extremist mm. in films, I like things blowing up and I know that yeah. I would watch Formula One, but no. Yeah, but you'd only watch for the crashes. <laughs> <laughs> She'd watch the first bend of the Monaco Grand Prix and think, oh, that's it then, they all got round, okay, that's it. She'll just leave. <laughs> she would. Because that's what I'd use. <laughs> but now... Uh, it's not uh, exciting anymore, is it really, is it? I've not watched it for years, really. I used to be really into... Mind you, Murray Walker was the commentator. That makes a sport. The commentators. Cause I, I think you would be a great commentator. I told you that. Well, if you watch my other channel, Teddy Games, you'll see me in action. Mm. <laughs> well, you won't see me in action, but you'll hear me. Right. But well, that's I another see. thing. Yes. Anyway, so then the last question, well, the, the two questions, two political questions, one of which you'll Wait. find the answer on but at the end of Bunny's Kitchen Cupboards video in which it, we had to answer that because it was about whether it was going to be Liz Truss or Richie Sunak to be Prime Minister. So that had to be answered on that video because it was basically yeah. the following Monday. So watch the Kitchen Cupboard video to see what we said back then. Yeah. But it's yeah. at the end of that video and I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this last question here is how did we vote on Brexit? Well, I voted to remain. I think, I, yeah, I did as well, to remain. It were, weren't it? Yes. I think we both, we both did the same. We both did the same, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Shall not go into detail, it's all... Well, it's all a bit of a mess at the minute with this Brexit, isn't it? Even for travelling, more documents, yeah, that, you've got to have 50, yeah. 50 pound uh, per day in Spain, all, all sorts of red tape for mm. us. It was a lot easier. 
when we were in the... Yeah. But it is what it is. We go with the flow. We got meddled with and now yeah. we're in the crap. <laughs> but we've enjoyed our second. Yeah, it was quicker than the first one. I, think so. <laughs> I hope we've answered what you wanted to hear or not to hear. I don't know. Let us know. <laughs> yeah. Are you surprised? Comment. Are you or disappointed? Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very yeah. much for the people who did ask the question this time round. I hope we've answered them nicely, nicely for you. Nicely for you, yes. And, and we've enjoyed doing it and uh, compiling it for you and being with you. It's been a while and we both love you all very much and <laughs> we send you our love and we wish you a nice week ahead and goodbye for now. <laughs> Yep, yeah, we'll see you in the next see one. You. Bye. So good night, adventure. <laughs> <laughs> good night, adventure. No. Good, good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye.